All right, let's go back in time just a little bit. It's still 3-5. It's still the same section. It seems like this section has taken long as what a whole chapter would take. Um, that's why it's part D right here. But let's talk briefly about two words, about parallel, parallel lines. And what's the other one? What kind of goes with parallel? Starts with a P as well. Remember? Perpendicular. perpendicular. Good. Okay, perpendicular lines. Hopefully you're taking notes on this. Because this is the stuff we're going to do right at the beginning is not new. Just kind of refreshing your memory a little bit. Uh, but we will eventually get into a problem that you haven't done yet. All right? That's going to be on the quiz. Do I? I am recording, yes. Yeah, this will be online. So... But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be taking notes, okay? Don't just rely on the video, all right? Um, some people never watch the videos, and some people only watch the videos and they sleep in class. <laughs> you need to stay awake in class, take notes, and watch the video, all right? That would be the best case scenario. All right, let's talk about parallel lines. Uh, let me draw this. What if I drew a line like this? So what do you know? If you, if you just walked up to somebody on the street and you had to tell them everything you know about parallel lines, what's the first thing you would tell them? Parallel lines are what? They don't intersect each other. Exactly right. Okay, that's the first thing that I would tell somebody about parallel lines is they don't intersect each other. Technically, they're in the same plane and they don't intersect because there are lines that don't intersect or they're called skew lines. You remember that word? But we're not going to worry about that. We're talking about the same plane. So any, any two lines that lie on the same plane that don't intersect each other are what? Parallel lines. Now, we just finished graphing something, and we talked about slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form has a slope in it. So tell me something about the slopes, how steep this line is compared to this line. Is this any steeper or less steep than this line? Like if I was going to walk up this hill, I'm walking up this hill, and then somebody else is walking up this hill. Is anybody walking up a steeper hill? No, it's just a steep, isn't it? Okay, so that means the steepness refers to the what of the line? Also starts with an S. The slope of the line, okay? The slope of the line. So what's true, Makai, you said it, what's true about the slopes of the two lines? They're equal to each other. Everybody got that? So the slopes are exactly the same. So if I called that line one and I called that line two, here's how I would write it. The slope of, remember M is for slope, remember that? The slope of line one is what? Equal to the slope of line two. So they have the same slopes. Everybody with me? Okay. So uh, what if the slope of this line, I don't know, go up and over, let's say it's like uh, five over three. What if the slope of this line was five thirds? Tell me something about the slope of this line if they're parallel to each other. It's also 5 thirds, good. So the slope of this line is also 5 thirds. That's easy to see, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely the easiest one, okay? This one right here. So if the two lines are parallel, they have the same what? Slope, they have the same slope. Everybody good? All right, uh, what if I did this? And you're gonna see, not exactly this on a quiz, but knowing what I'm gonna do right now, it's gonna help you on a quiz. So what if I said this? What if I said y? I'm going to give you two equations of a line. So let's say the first one is 2 thirds x, I don't know, plus 1, and then y equals 2 thirds x minus 3. All right? Tell me something about these two lines. What do you know about these two lines? They what? They have the same slope, don't they? Okay, what, are, what is the slope? Two thirds. So what must be true about those two lines then? They must be not equal. Lines can't be equal to each other. What have we been saying? Parallel. Look at the look at the words that I gave you at the beginning. Parallel, right? So when the slopes are equal, and the slopes are equal here, right? This has two thirds. This oops. This has two thirds. Come on. There we go. So what's true about these two lines? They are what? Parallel. Now, I'm not going to just give you two equations, I don't think. I'm going to give you a problem that's, that's similar to this, but not exactly. So these two lines are parallel. All right, that's enough about parallel lines. Let's jump over to what? Perpendicular lines. 
So what do you think perpendicular? Okay, they intersect, but they don't just intersect. How do they intersect? No, not at the midpoint. That is not at the midpoint. No, no, nothing about y-axis. Look at the two lines. What kind of angle does it look like those two? Looks like a 90 degree or a right angle. Okay, so if I put a right angle here, what could I say about these two lines? They are what? It's right in front of you. It's right on top. They're perpendicular, right? See, I'm not asking you stuff that you got to go back in the memory bank. It's right there. So if these two lines form a 90 degree angle, what's true about those two lines? What do I know about those two lines? They are perpendicular. Okay, watch this. Oops. What if I like tilted them like that? Are they still perpendicular? Yeah. Are they still um, a 90 degree angle? Yeah. Okay, just because I slanted it a little different, right, the whole thing. Now, if I did this, what if I, what if I did that? Is that line perpendicular to this one? No, obviously it's not. Okay, but these are perpendicular. Now, there is a relationship between the slopes. They're not equal to each other. Because look, this slope goes up from left to right, okay? It goes up. So what kind of slope is that? It's a positive or negative? It's positive slope. What about this one? From left to right, I'm going what? Going down. So what kind of slope is that? It's negative. So on perpendicular lines, one slope is going to be positive and the other slope is going to be negative. You hear me on that? Okay. Now check this out. I'm just making this up, um, up and over, we'll just say two thirds, all right? So let's say the slope of this line right here is two thirds, and it's positive, right? So I know it's positive two thirds. This is something we actually learned before. You've probably forgotten because it's been a while since we've done this, okay? So the slope of this line right here is two thirds. The slope of this line, is it also gonna be two thirds? It's going to be negative, but it's not going to be two-thirds, though. Okay? It's going to be 3 over 2. Do you remember the phrase we used? I think, Mario, you're about to say it. Negative reciprocal. Good. All right? So the slopes on perpendicular lines, the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. And I just demonstrated it. Okay? So the slopes are negative reciprocals. What does that mean? Well, the negative just means it's the opposite sign, okay? So if one's positive, what's the other one gonna be? Negative. What's the reciprocal mean on a fraction? Just flip the fraction, right? So if this is 2 thirds, this is gonna be 3 over 2. Everybody see that? So that's the relationship. That's the relationship between two lines or the slopes of two lines. Okay, if one is positive two-thirds, the other is going to be negative three-halves. Uh, let's do some more practice. What if I said the slope of one line was negative one-fourth? What would the slope of a line that's perpendicular to this be? Positive four over one. Exactly right. Or you could just say four, couldn't you? Everybody with me on that? Okay. What if I said negative five-sevenths? What's the negative reciprocal of negative five sevenths? Positive seven over five. With me? Okay. What about, I don't know, three? All right. What's the negative reciprocal? Is it negative three? It's negative one three, or one over three. Right. Because what is this? This is three what? Over one. If you flip it, the one goes on top, three goes on the bottom. If one's, neg if one's positive, the other one's negative. All right, everybody good with that? Negative reciprocal? That's not too hard, is it? I mean, the word negative reciprocal might be a little bit daunting to you. I don't know. But uh, just knowing to change the sign, flip the fraction, boom, that's easy. Well, it's going to ask for if one line is two thirds, what's the slope of another line that's perpendicular to it? And then that would be negative three over two. So it's going to ask stuff like that. In fact, let me do a couple problems. These are problems that are very similar to the ones on the quiz, all right? Quiz is on what? Thursday, I think, right? Today's Tuesday, all right? So 
this is um, a couple problems that are going to be on there. So it's going to say, find the slope. We haven't really done anything new just yet. Okay, It might seem new to you because it's been a while. Each line. All right, so I'll just put a 1. It's not number 1 on the quiz, but I'll just put a 1 right now. Uh, I want to find a slope of a line that's parallel to this line right here y equals negative 5x plus 2. Okay? So as soon as you see that word parallel, what pops in your head? Same slope, exactly. Everybody hear that? Got a lot of people with their heads down, not paying attention. All right, good luck to you on the quiz. I'm not going to give you any help whatsoever. All right? For those that are looking and paying attention, maybe I'll give you a little bit of help. But you probably won't need it because you're learning it right now. That still didn't get their heads up, did it? I guess they're knocked out cold. That's right. Mr. Sarak said, they sleep in class. Don't worry about it. Just teach the ones that are going to be awake. But that's hard for me. It really is difficult for me to do. Seeing people with their heads down, I'm trying to teach. I just want to go over and just shake your desk and wake you up. But I'm not going to. So let's do this. So the lines would be parallel. So what, is, what do they ask for? Find the what? Find the slope of a line that's parallel to this line. So what do we look for? We look for the slope. What is the slope of this line right here? It's negative 5. So what's the slope of a line that's parallel to this line? It's the same thing. So the slope is what? Negative 5. Now in the other class, a lot of people were saying negative 5x. Is the x part of the slope? No, it's just the number in front of the x. Okay. So the slope is just negative 5. Don't put negative 5x. If you put negative 5x, I'm marking it wrong. That's not the slope. The slope is just negative 5. What if I ask you to do the same problem, but instead of saying parallel, I said perpendicular to? What if, what's the slope of a line that's perpendicular to this line? It's positive 1 over 5. Very good. So the slope, I always like to do this. The slope of a line that's perpendicular, do you see that? That's a little perpendicular symbol. The slope of the perpendicular line is going to be positive 1 over 5. How'd you know that? Because it's the negative reciprocal, right? It's the negative reciprocal of that slope. It's not too hard, is it? Let's do another one. This one was kind of easy. Why was this a little bit easy? Because they already wrote this equation in what? Slope intercept form, exactly. Everybody see that? They're not always going to give it to you in slope intercept form where you can just look at it and see the slope. Okay? Sometimes you're going to have to change it to slope intercept form. We did that earlier today, didn't we? When we did that, um, that homework problem, okay? So let's do this. Um, we'll do both. We'll do parallel and we'll do perpendicular. I only ask you for one on the quiz, but we'll do both of them just for learning sake. All right, so here's the equation. Um, so parallel to this equation right here, this line right here, 3x minus 4y uh, equals 2. All right, so what do you have to do? You got to look for the slope. Can I see the slope right now? No, I can't see the slope right now. What do I have to do? Get y by itself. Very good. So how do we do that? Negative 3x. Okay, subtract 3x from both sides. That cancels. I'm left with negative 4y equals, now what do I do to this? Switch it around, negative 3x plus 2. Divide both sides by negative 4. Can't forget about the negative. And then that cancels. Y is, what's that? Just positive 3 fourths x, and then minus whatever, right? It's a half. I don't really even care about that. What do I care about? I care about the slope. All right, so I don't even need to worry about getting that y-intercept correct. But I'm caring about the slope. So if the slope of this line is what? 3 fourths. The slope of this line is 3 fourths. What's the slope of a line that's parallel to that? It's also 3 fourths. So that's super easy. Would you agree? All right, when it's parallel, it's just 3 fourths. What if I ask you for a slope of a line that's perpendicular to this line? what would that be? 
Yeah, that's almost as easy, isn't it? Right? Once you get the hang of it, that negative reciprocal thing is just about as easy. You look at the slope, and if it says find a slope that's perpendicular to this, take the opposite sign, flip the fraction, and you're good to go. So that would be your answer if it asks for perpendicular. On the quiz, I'm only going to ask one or the other. Okay? So one problem I'll probably ask for parallel, the other problem I'll probably ask for perpendicular. Okay? You won't have to find them both. But it really wouldn't be that hard, would it, to find them both? No. Does that make any sense at all? Okay. Taking good notes on it? I hope so. All right, what are we going to do now? Ah, okay, let's do this one. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's see, what do I got? Like 10 minutes? Okay. I'll be able to at least do this one. So this problem says, determine whether lines, I'll write this down in a second. I'm not going to write down every word, though. It's gonna, it says, determine whether lines AD and BC are either parallel, perpendicular, or neither, and show why they are. So they give you four points. They give you point A. They give you point B, which is 3, 2. They give you C, which is 1, negative 4. And they give you point D which is 0, 3. So the question says, tell whether lines AD and BC are either parallel to each other, are they perpendicular to each other, or is neither one of those things true? You hear what we're trying to do? So what I need to do is I need to look at line AD. So what points make up, this should be an easy question, what points make up line AD? Point what? Maybe it wasn't so easy. Maybe I didn't word it correctly. Okay, if I have AD, here's my A, so what point is A? Negative three, three four. What point is D? Zero, three. Zero, three. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write it down right next to it, just so I see. Okay, I just wanna put them together to make sense. So that's line AD, right? If I put a point at negative 3, 4, a point at 0, 3, I should be able to connect them, and I got my line, okay? What about line BC? Well, let's write that down. So BC, I'll put B right here, that's 3, 2, and C is what? 1, negative 4, okay? Now, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to figure out, is this line parallel to this line? Is this line perpendicular to this line, or is neither one of those things true? So you got a one in three chance, right? Are you just gonna guess and write down one of them? No, because if you do, and if you even get it right, even if you do guess it right, you're mar I'm marking it wrong. Why, why would I mark it wrong? Because you didn't show how you got it, that's right. And the question I purposely put in there, show why they are perpendicular, show why they are parallel, okay? So what am I looking for? What am I trying to do to this in order to tell if they're parallel to each other or perpendicular to each other? What am I trying to find? What I've been talking about all day today. Finding the what? Finding the slopes. See that? If I can find the slopes and if they're equal to each other, then they're parallel. If they're negative reciprocals of each other, then they're perpendicular. Okay? So that's what I'm trying to do here. It's basically the same thing as we did before, except they just give you two points and you got to find the slope. Really? Right in the middle of me teaching? I don't even know where my pen is. Where is it? You couldn't have waited? All right. So what we're going to do is find the what? Of this line. What are we going to find? Find the slope. That's right. Now, here's something we haven't done yet today, but you should know. I think we've even had a quiz on this before. How to find the slope. How do I find the slope if I give you two points? Yep, y2 minus y1 on top, and then x2 minus x1 on the bottom. Okay, so let's do the uh, y's on the top. It actually doesn't even matter if you go y2 or y1 first. Um, but most people, I think, are doing the second one minus the first one. So let's do that. 
So 3 minus 4. Okay, and then how am I going to do the x's? 0 minus what? Negative 3. Okay? You guys watching? Got a lot of eyes closed. Even though I've said it like five times today, you got to pay attention. Come on. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. It's negative 1. It's very important you get the right sign. What's this? 0 minus negative 3. It's a positive 3, right? So what's my slope of this AD? It's negative 1 third, okay? So what if the two lines are parallel? What would the slope of this line be? It'd be negative 1 third, right? You guys watching? Okay, if they were parallel to each other, this would have the same slope. What if they were perpendicular to each other? Then the slope of this one would be what? Positive. Give me the number. It'd be 3 over 1. Be just 3, right? Positive 3, okay? So what am I going to have to do? I'm going to figure it out, though. I've got to figure out. I don't know what the slope of this is, so I've got to find out the slope of it. So let's do the slope again, all right? y2 minus y1, so it's negative 4 minus 2. x2 minus x1, that would be 1 minus 3. Negative 4 minus 2, add the opposite, that's negative 6. Add the opposite here, that's negative 2. What's negative 6 divided by negative 2? It's positive 3. So the slope is what? Positive 3. Does that look familiar? We just said it, right? So look, the slope of this one is negative 1 third. The slope of this one is positive 3, or positive 3 over 1. So what must be true about those two lines? They must be what? Perpendicular. Perpendicular, okay? They've got to be perpendicular because perpendicular lines, the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Is this a negative reciprocal of this? Absolutely. So what are they? They are what? Perpendicular. That would be your answer, okay? That's technically your answer, but it's not a guessing game. You are not just gonna write down perpendicular and nothing else. If you write down perpendicular for that problem and nothing else, I'm marking it wrong, even though technically it's the correct answer. You with me on this? Because even in the problem I said, show why they are perpendicular. Where's the why? All this stuff, okay? That's the show why. And then that is your answer, okay? I've had kids, students, get these two right and they write down parallel. Well, even though you showed why, you wrote down the, work, the wrong thing, okay? These lines are not parallel to each other. They're what? They're perpendicular. If I wanted to, I could graph it. I'm not going to, but I could if I wanted to, all right? But this is the way you should do it, okay? Find the slopes. Compare them. Are they the same? If they were the same, then they would be parallel, right? But if they're negative reciprocals of each other, then they're perpendicular. If neither one of those things was true, like for instance, what if I did this and it came out to 3 over 2? Is negative 1 third and 3 over 2, is there any relationship between them? No. So you would say what? You would say neither, all right? You got three choices, parallel, perpendicular, or neither, all right? This one is perpendicular. All right, you just got to find the slopes. You guys good with that? All right, we've got five minutes, four minutes. So let me try to squeeze one in here. We may, what, we may continue this next one um, tomorrow. So write it down and somebody remind me to do this tomorrow because we finished this one in my last class. So it says, write the slope-intercept form. Write the slope. I'm not going to write the whole problem out just because of time. It says, find the slope-intercept form of an equation of a line that passes through these two points. So here's the two points that the line passes through. And I want to write an equation of a line in slope-intercept form that goes through those two points. First of all, what is the slope-intercept form? We've said it already today y equals mx plus b, okay? Now, look what I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find the slope, and I'm trying to find the y-intercept. That's what I'm trying to find, okay? What's the easiest one to find right now? 
We've done it twice already. Find the slope. That's right. Okay, we've done it twice. Let's do it one more time. What's the slope of this line right here? Well, 0 minus 6. That's a 0. 0 minus 6, and then what? 6 minus 3. 0 minus 6 is negative 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. Oops. And then what's that? 6 over 3. Negative 6 over 3. It's negative 2. So the slope is what? Negative 2. So what am I going to put in for that right there? A, not a 2, a negative 2. So let's put it in there. y equals negative 2x plus b. All right, so I found I'm halfway done, basically. All right, just finding the slope. I'm halfway done this problem. Now what i got to find is the b. How in the world do I do that? Well, good question. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use either one of these points. It doesn't matter which one I pick. That's what's in interesting about this. The last class picked 3, 6. Let's pick 6, 0. Either one would work. Either one would give us the same exact answer. All right? So let's pick this. The 6 is my x, and the 0 is my what? My y. Do you see an x and a y here? That's what I'm going to put in for that. Okay? So what am I going to put in for this y? 0 equals negative 2 times x. What, what am I going to put in for the x? 6 plus b. Let's do the math. 0 equals, what's that? Negative 12 plus b. Get b by itself. Add a 12. Add a 12. What's b? It's just 12. So now I can put that 12 in for the b. So let's write the final answer. y equals negative 2x, what? Plus 12. And that is the answer. That's the slope-intercept form that goes through those two points. Okay? You're going to have a problem that looks just like this on the quiz. All right. So I got done everything in here that I did on the last class. That's good. No homework again. Even though on the lesson plan it says there's homework. Okay, there's no homework tonight, so don't worry about doing homework.